Keep it quirky. Hello, today I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, my daughter who's currently sleeping in the background and um, how she's taking part in some science research for autism. Um, Beth is currently six months old and she's already taken part in one study at Cambridge University. The next study she's taken part in is at Kent University although the only the Cambridge study is actually ongoing and will continue until she's two years old tracking her development to see if she does go on to um, to be autistic to see whether she is autistic or not obviously it's too early to tell at this stage the Cambridge study that she took part in was actually while I was still pregnant with her and she I think I think we were at about the six months mark in the pregnancy so they were looking at her brain development and and doing lots of measurements to see if I think the hypothesis is they may be able to tell in the future if children have gone on to develop autism or to have be born with autism if they look back at the brain scans if that would then that show them any differences, if there would be any differences in the brain scans. I'm really the wrong person to be trying to explain this, but um, that's, that's the idea. So they will look, they will track her development over her, the first two years of her life and go back and then look at her, her brain scans to see if there were any, in, any indications in the brain um, and other areas um, to, to see if there were any differences and markers there perhaps they can tell parents in the future if their children are at risk at higher risk of having autism and then they can be prepared and have the right support available to that family um, but this is science in its infancy so it's really just as a study at this stage and who knows we'll watch the space really to see how that how that actually pans out but that was one study that she's taken part in because she's at higher risk higher risk of having autism she has about a 25% chance because I already have a child with it so the study that we're about to take part in next week is actually going to look at her um, eye movement and track her eye movement and track her reactions to certain um, facial expressions so I think from what I've read so far I'll be able to tell you more next week is that um, they will show her some videos of different facial expressions from different people and track her eye movement of those they're looking for obviously comparing children that are high risk of autism to children that are not at high risk and to see if there are any differences in the way they track facial expressions now I know there are already studies done on that and I've looked into those um, so I don't know how this one is furthering the field but I'm sure it must be um, but I'll have lots more information obviously when she's taken part in the study and I'll be able to share that with everybody so if you'd like to see the results of, of how not the results of the study but of how it went with Beth taking part then please subscribe if you hit the bell as well then you will be informed when I actually release a new video and you can be one of the first people to see it. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.